You gotta love it when you look at the weather on KY3 and they tell you it's gonna be a pretty day. It's a rainy day. When I checked the weather, there wasn't nothing like this in sight, coming or going. And now I'm stuck in it. Look where I'm at. I'm out here where the alpacas live. They got caught in it. They just hunkered down. See them? I can't zoom in on them for the rain. It's raining so hard I can't zoom in on them. I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, I'm stuck in the rain. <laughs> But that guy on that motorcycle is getting wet. Oh, there's two of them. Look at that. I'm not the only one got caught out in it. <laughs> there's everybody else getting caught out in it. Lots of people. The KY3 weather people missed this. They didn't see this coming. But it's raining. I don't know. I don't know when I'm gonna get back on the road. I may be here a while. There ain't no place to sit down. It's clean. I might as well cut. Might as well cut that off. <laughs> oh, a little, little bit of thunder to go with it. Oh man. adventure turns out because I'm stuck in some cold this is not just rain this ain't summertime rain play in it this is cold ass weather rain <laughs> y'all are pretty look they got up because it quit raining almost quit raining I should say boy they sure are pretty is it gonna keep raining or do you know Look at that big old cloud that went over us. See, all that's gone. That's the rain going that way. All right. Now the down road is wet. I'm gonna spin up stuff up on my jacket. All right. Well, I believe I can get on down the road now. The sun has come out. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> I got to get on down that road right there, y'all. Well, they changed the sign to two, Mom. Happy day. <laughs> so I guess it's Mama's day today. We all, if we came into this world, we got a Mama. And everybody I know that's in this world got a Mama. My mama passed away when she was 48 with lung cancer. I'm, yeah, I know it sounds funny to say that because, I mean, I ain't thought about it in a long time. But, uh, hey, she passed away at night. I don't, I don't even want to try to get into days. But it was uh, in the 80s, 84, 85. I, let's don't put it like that. Let's just put it like this. She had lung cancer, and it went really bad. It went really quick, and uh, I miss her all the time. Uh, there is a type of reality that when I sleep, I go into a dream that she's in another universal time or whatever it is, another timeline, and she's alive and well. And it's I've had good conversations with her, talked to her about things, and it's real interesting to do that. So I kind of settled some issues with her that way, and she settled some issues with me that way. But I, I, don't, I didn't mean to go off on no tangent, but I was going to say Happy Mama's Day to all the mamas. My daughters are now mamas. Pretty soon their children will be married and have mamas, and this whole thing is wrapped around mamas. 
A daddy can, can a daddy be a mama? You better believe he can. Some of the best mamas are daddies, and some of the best daddies are mamas. This world will teach you a many a lesson, and most of it, it takes a lifetime to learn. I wish I knew what I knew now when I was 21. I would have been able to stop the aging process so much easier. So I try to tell these young people, seen two of them at the Hardys, and I told them they didn't have to age if they didn't believe it. If they believe more in the fact that they age and die, then they'll get that out of their cells, their DNA and their atoms. But I told them, I said, that ain't who you are. That ain't who you have to be. You can speak life to your body, your cells, your DNA. And one of the biggest things is keep moving people. I don't care if you're 70 and you ain't started the exercise program. If you want to live to be able to take yourself to the bathroom, keep moving. Walk, exercise, do the best you can to keep moving. When we stop moving, it sets our body into a death mode and it just we just start losing all our muscle mass. It gets to the point that uh, it cuts our life. What do you call it? When you have life, uh, longevity, vitality, it cuts all of that down, makes you sedentary. And a lot of people, it makes them obese, it makes them not want to move anymore. And they just get to the point where they're just ready to go. I've seen it. And, but I'm, here I am leaving a path, a, a trail of breadcrumbs for my future self when I look back on a day like this I will be thankful that I did ride even though it rained on me I'll be thankful that I did take time out in nature with the earth with the land and the vibration of the grass and the trees and just be blessed and thank and count all of my blessings and be grateful for the day even though it rained be grateful that it rained when I wake up in the morning, I start even talking to myself, my atoms, my DNA. Y'all have heard it before, you know what it is. But for all you new people, you don't have to age. You can stop it right dead in its tracks. All you gotta do is believe that you are the eternal life. Never, never, ever been created. You were always, and you always will be. It's not the physical body. But when you believe what I'm saying down to your atoms, your cells, your DNA, your mitochondria cells, they know that part of you that is eternal. That part of you that didn't have a creator. You've always been and you always will be. I remember saying that within the first week of my awakening, August the 17th, 2003, that I was an eternal being and people at church when I tell them that, they, they thought I was some kind of new ager or something. Because everybody's got a mama and everybody's been created and everybody lives under the law of sin and guilt and condemnation. But I'm here to tell you, no, that ain't who you are. That ain't what you are. You're an eternal light body being inhabited in a physical form in this continuum of time to experience the remembering of who you are. And there ain't no better time to enjoy life than right now. There is no other time than now. If we can stay in the present, we can have eternal life now. We can become younger, stronger, healthier. We can attract the abundance of life and wealth, beautiful things into our life. I'm a living and breathing example of all of that. So y'all keep watching my channel and we'll keep growing together. If you think I'm wrong, leave a comment. Tell me that I'm a poor, pitiful, miserable sinner and that I'm getting I'm gonna get old quick and I'm gonna <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to ride my bicycle and I'm gonna be an old mean man crying, I can't ride my bicycle today, I don't feel good. <laughs> Let's see if that party happens. Oh I hate that this horse got hurt. You can see, uh, if you'll take a few steps, you can see him limping. Oh, the storm could have killed him.
but he's got some kind of limp now. He's a beautiful horse too. But I talked to the man and he told me a couple of horses got hurt, tore up a barn, and then tore down a bunch of his stuff back there. But the tornado came across his property just on the other side over there where you see that tractor moving around. And uh, you can see the fence line way back behind the horse. It went right across there and it got a couple of homes. Yeah, it tore up a bunch of stuff. Oh, he's limping. Y'all send that horse some love and energy. If you know this road, if, even if you don't know this road, you can still do it. There's that tele cell phone tower, so you can see right across there is where I filmed the other day. Yeah, it could have got his house, it could have got the big barn, but man, a tornado is, is a really bad thing. All right, y'all send that horse some love and energy, heal him up really good, speak life to him. Thank you. As you can see, it darn near took his whole barn down. And he's got horses. He, I think the horse that got hurt used to hang out in this field right here. And there was a lean-to back there. And, uh, probably when the lean-to come apart, a piece of it hit him. But you got trees right across here. So, And there's uh, two really nice big houses back that direction that got destroyed so you can't see them from here but i might stop and take a picture of them i don't know if you can see it really good but there's one of them and the other one is it blocked i can't see it but uh this black gate dry leads right up to it but that one sure got tore up but both of them Hard to see both of them at the same time, but. All right. They just put the gate in, just really built both of them, not within a year and a half, two years, brand new. Now they're both gone.